The next step is to configure the CombiVis Studio HMI project that we're going to load onto the KEB's router. This project will consist of a data logger that will collect data from our Compact Logics PLC. Finally, uh, all the data that's collected will be pushed up to the AWS cloud. Let's get started. Once you have CombiVis Studio HMI project, we will first start and create a new blank project. Common projects used by the C6 router include dashboards, email and SMS notifications, and also alarms. For this video, I'll just focus on the data logging functionality. We will create a project using the project wizard. So first, select File, New, and a startup wizard will open. The router has a Windows CE 7 operating system, so I'll select this option. Give the project a name and select a path to save the project. The HMI runtime will always be advanced for any of our router products. The user options can be left as default, and the COM driver we will use is Ethernet IP for the Compact Logics. Select Next. For simplicity, I'll create a blank screen with a width of 800 by 600 to match the router desktop resolution. Everything else I'll uncheck as we will be configuring the data loggers manually and won't be using any alarms. When you are finished with all of this, select Finish. The first pop-up you will see is the Ethernet IP configuration wizard. The only thing that needs to be configured here is a station with the correct IP address of the compact logics. Select Station and Add and modify the PLC type to Compact Logics. Then scroll down and enter the IP address of the PLC. Select OK. And now I can add in tags from my PLC project. An option to import tags from a database will open. Rockwell software allows projects to be saved as an L5K file or CSV file. I'll import my sample project from an L5K file. Once opened, all the tags in the project will populate. Only select the tags needed and select Import. Data communication between the PLC is now configured. The next step is to create a data logger within our project that will publish the tags collected from the Compact Logics to the AWS cloud. To add a data logger, simply right-click on the data logger resource and select Add a new data logger. To push data to the cloud, the Enable Archiving on Cloud option must be selected. For environments with an unstable internet connection, it is possible to save data packets to the router memory while an internet connection is unavailable. You can use this feature by selecting the Enable Offline Data option. The final step in configuring the data logger is to determine how and when to add data to the data logger. Data can be recorded whenever a tag value changes using the Records On Change option or using a Rising Edge Trigger bit with the Record On Command option. My PLC program will trigger the recording value every six seconds the data logger will automatically set the trigger back to false. Therefore, I will check record on command and enter the trigger in the recording variable. Each data logger contains columns for data. I'll use the tag water temp as the only column in this example and select the green check mark to save my changes. The next step will be to set the time period for data publishing. This can be found in the project properties. I'll leave everything at default. Every minute, a packet of data will be pushed to the cloud. Lastly, I will create a screen with a data logger template to see the data that is getting pushed to the cloud. These can be extremely useful for debugging. Open the toolbox and drag a data logger window on the new screen. Then, Link the data logger to the window in the execution properties, and if you want, you can modify the columns you want to see. I'll only include the timestamp and the value of the water temp for this example. Now our data logging project is complete. 